So here we have the tank that comes with it. The, the valve is not currently on. Here's the tank stand. This is the cap for the air bladder. Standard. It's the manual instructions. The RO membrane, this is gonna be inserted right in here. We have the first stage, second stage, third stage. The sediment filter goes in the first stage, the transparent housing. Second stage, the GAC carbon filter. CTO carbon filter. And these are all individually wrapped, so make sure you get, take care of that. You have the housing wrenches. It goes for the bottom filters. This goes for the membrane. And then you got the tubings. They go to various parts. Uh, the drain saddle. This is going to be connected to there. It's going to go on the drain. This is for if you don't want to mount the faucet, you can drill it into a wall and stick it in there. We have the RO faucet itself. Brush nickel. Uh, a real nice faucet. Durable valve. Uh, we have Teflon tape. It's very important for the fittings. These are all spares. Spare O-rings. Spare fittings. Tank valve. This is going to go on top of the tank. And this is the on position, off position. Feed water adapter. This has the, um, this can adapt to either half inch or three eighth inch by moving this nut to the other side. Um, and the leak adapter, flood alarm leak adapter, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically you just put the battery in, it stands by itself, sticks to the side. When water comes in contact with those metal prongs, sends off an alarm. First stage, get the sediment filter. And with this one, make sure you have the, there's one O-ring on the top. This side does not, so make sure this side is going down. You also wanna make sure you have this O-ring perfectly seated inside the housing, and that goes for all all of them. So then with the alignment, you want to make sure you align them into the housing, top and bottom. And then this one, it's got a washer on both sides, so make sure you got a washer on both sides. Once they're on there, cinch them up. Overly tight. If you want it to fit snug, you don't want to put all your might into it. Don't need to overdo it. Then you have the membrane. The membrane goes into here. Hit it. Remove this, hold it down with that. Wiggle the tube out. And that mark is how far it's supposed to be inserted into the quick connect. And then this housing can either. So the O-ring, it should be on the edge of the membrane housing. It should not be not be in the cap. It goes right here on the end of the housing. Then we screw this on. That's how it creates the seal. So you see where the membrane gets inserted and also where the waistline goes out to. So this membrane, it's got two O-rings on the end. This, These two O-rings need to be inserted into the end of it. So you take it. Insert it in. There we go. And pushed all the way in. It's fully inserted. It should be a perfect, perfect alignment once it's fully inserted. And you take the cap, make sure the O ring is around there and not in the cap. And screw this back on. Work or two. Oh, good. And you do want to leave this off because you're going to be flushing the first three stages. Alright. 
So this is gonna be how the quick connects work. This is all the connections, all the tubing connections in the system are with these quick connects. So we got uh, right here to insert the tubing. You pull out the clip and then this compresses down. Inside here, you have the O-ring. The tubing needs to put, be pushed in past that O-ring to create the seal. And then this, it's got some little teeth and that's what locks it in with the blue clip. So to insert it, you take out the blue clip, push it in, get in a little bit, and then you gotta really push it in and you'll feel it once it goes in and then it won't, it's not going anywhere. And you put this blue clip back in and that's it. And then to remove it, Take that back out, compress that, hold that down with one hand, wiggle out the tube. All right, so this is gonna be how to use the Teflon tape. This is very important to all the connections. Anytime you're using threads, you wanna use Teflon tape. And the tape, you wanna wrap it clockwise. So that way, the uh, when you're screwing it in, it goes with it. So you get your start right there. Usually do about four to five wraps. And this secures the thread. And now when you turn it, it's going in the correct direction. So the Teflon tape Teflon is very important to everything on the system. All right, so the Teflon tape, you want to go in this direction, so that way the valve screws on with the tape. You can do about four, five, six, seven wraps. It's not gonna hurt. Break it off. Seal it like that, and you got the tank valve. Just make sure it's aligned right. And you wanna screw it on good, but don't over tighten it. So about right there, it works fine. So see, this is gonna go in line. This is gonna go in line. We got the Teflon tape on the top, sealed it with the Teflon tape on the bottom. If you're gonna do a half inch, you bring this around to the top. But this is 3 8 You got the Teflon tape here. So this, we're gonna install it. Connect this right there. valve right here. This is in the on position when it's straight. To turn it off, it goes up. So you got this to turn the water of the system on and off, and then you got this, the cold water line, to shut your water off completely. But if you just want to turn it off to the system, you got this right here. All right, so this is going to be installing the red line to this. This is a quick connect, so it should go a full half inch in. You really feel it get in, and you can't pull it. And then you get the blue clip. Just pop that sucker in. All right, so now we got the tubings, the black tubing goes to the flow restrictor. This goes to the flow restrictor, so we're gonna get that in there. Push that all the way in. So we got that. Yellow tubing. It's gonna go on the end of the post carbon filter. This is gonna go to the tank. And you got the 
blue tubing, and blue tubing is going to go to the faucet. So now we have our tubing connected. The yellow tube is going to go to the tank. The black tube is going to go to the drain. The blue tube is going to go to the faucet. We'll do all this shortly. And then the red tube is going to connect. The red tube is going to connect to right here. All right, so hook this up to here. You got to flush the first three stages prior to it going to the membrane. So there's a couple ways to do it. You could either disconnect this, but what I found very easy, just connect one of the long tubes to right here. So you can flush it up through here. So we're gonna turn the water on. And show the filling. The first water that comes out is black. And it's gonna be the carbon. You just want to run this for about five, ten minutes. All right, so we got the drain saddle now. Open this up. So basically, this is for a half inch drain. We got this. This is going to go. This is going to be placed on the drain pipe. We're gonna be installing it. It's gonna go like this. You got uh, that right in there. That. All right, so this is how it's gonna go on the drain line. You wanna get this nut on first. Insert it through and screw. And that's how it's gonna look and we'll be on that shortly. So here we have the quarter inch drain hole. You need to make it a little bit bigger than a quarter inch to get the tubing in. So now we have the drain pad on. What the pad is gonna do, it's gonna secure um, the drain saddle or let the drain saddle smash onto this without, uh, without damaging the pipe. And it's also gonna create a seal. So now, as far as getting the actual thing on, Go like that, and you don't have to make it uh, make it aligned at first. You just want to make sure uh, make sure you get these screws in. Before you tighten them up, you want to make sure you line this hole up with the. There we go, right there. That's a perfect view. So that's going to be right where the tube goes into. Now that we got the drain saddle in on the drain line, you want to put this piece over the tube and then insert the tube into the drain and then just tighten this. All right, so now we're going to simply attach the tubing to the tank valve and again, we already, we already looked at the tank valve, so. You wanna make sure it goes in the full half an inch. You take the blue clip, put the blue clip on, and there you have it. All right, so here we have the system fully installed. We have it coming from the feed water adapter here, coming through the red line, going into the first stage. Goes through the first stage. Comes out right here, goes through the automatic shuttle valve, goes into the membrane, comes out the pure water port, and then you got the drain water port. Drain water goes to the black drain line, which is connected right there. And right now we have the tank valve closed. And when the system, or when the tank is closed, this is the rate of water that is going to be coming out just at a trickle. So now we're going to close the faucet and open the tank valve. 
So now with the faucet closed and the system is still on, tank valve is open. So now all the water is going to the tank. Okay, so now we gave the tank a good bit of time to fill up. If we tilt it, it feels fairly heavy. Um, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna flush the, flush the tank for the first time. When you come over here, before we saw it was trickling. Now when we open it, it'll probably sputter out since it's the first tank full, but you just wanna open this up. This is the stream you get. You see some kind of air coming out of it. This is just as the system is clearing itself of air. We've got a nice steady stream. And this is the rate that the water is going to come out when you open the faucet. So now we can see it's reduced back to a trickle. So what we'll do now, is just shut this back up. It's gonna cause the tank to refill. And once the tank is full again, we'll open the faucet and be good to go.